I'm Steve Murphy, drug enforcement agent. But when we started filming uh, Narcos, the showrunner for season one, his name is Chris Brancato, and Chris told us, he said, I'm going to make you two guys famous. You're not going to be face famous, you're going to be name famous. Senores, yo soy Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. And a lot of people don't believe that the events happened. They, they get the bombings, the presidential candidate killing, the Avianca, the, all that stuff, the surrender, the escape, the surrender into a country club. And our biggest concern was that somebody would try and take, you know, the story of Escobar and glorify him. And, you know, keep in mind, this is the world's first narco-terrorist. This is a guy that's responsible for how many murders? 15, 20,000 innocent people. Innocent people. Innocent people that are just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And you know what, you know, we talk about sometimes, and I hate to say it, leadership qualities. Escobar was out there recruiting young kids, hugging them, kissing them, offering them money. And, and you know where he used to recruit them from? A Catholic, one of the poorest Catholic churches in Medellin. He was so sly that he played on the... Like I said, I'm a popularity, I'm a rich, I'm a good guy, I'm helping out. But how can you turn around and blow up an airplane with 120 people? How can you put a bomb at, a, at the DOS building where you killed another 150 people? How can you kill a presidential candidate? Imagine nowadays, the guy who was going to win was Carlos Galan. People think, they think I'm psycho when I say this. It was exciting. It was just... It was a challenge, you know, are you up for it? Can you survive this? But it's just that adrenaline and that excitement that goes along with it. I just, it was an experience of a lifetime.